Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're gonna cover the basics and the fundamentals of text animation in After Effects. So this video is for you guys who are just starting out or you're just a beginner in After Effects. I know it's really confusing when you're just starting out with text animation in After Effects and in this video, we're gonna try to clear out all that confusions that you've been having. <laughs> Alright, just before we proceed, a lot of you who are watching the video have not subscribed to the channel. So I request you to kindly subscribe to the channel and help me reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, follow me on Instagram at The Motion Designers. Alright, back to the tutorial. Alright, so here I am in a new composition. Select this text and type your text. I'll just type in smooth. And first thing I like to check is the paragraph. I like to center it in the center of the text so center it and go to the align and center it to the composition as well if you don't find this align go to window and you can find it here in the align and center the text anchor point to the center so Control alt and home on the keyboard to center it in the composition all right so let's try to animate this using the position Collapse this, go to transform and position or hit P on the keyboard. All right, set a keyframe at one second. Go back to the first frame and we're gonna move this X axis to the left. So you have the basic animation, but the problem number one with this kind of animation is that you're quite limited to the functions of the text animation here. And the problem number two is if you're gonna move this text animation somewhere around in this in the composition, you have this you know another keyframes here baked into the timeline, so that ruins all the animations. So we're not gonna do it this way. Let's disable these keyframes and align it to the center once again. Instead, we're gonna go and collapse this. Go to text, and you find an animate here. So we're gonna try to create the the same animation using this animate. The text animation functions in After Effects. All right, so click on this, go to position, and you have the position here, so you can change the position. All right, so let's do the same thing. So let's go to one second, set a keyframe, and go back to the first keyframe and move it to the left like this. So you have the same animation here, and if I move it around, so you'll still have the same animations. We already fixed that problem. But in order to unlock the other features and the functions of the text animation, we're not gonna do this either. So let's turn off these keyframes and instead let's rename this from animator to in. So this is the animate in. So we're gonna make the animation here. All right, so let's move this somewhere around here and go to advance and here in the advanced tab this shape is very important so we're gonna change this to ramp up and we're gonna animate it using this range selector so we're gonna animate from negative 100 set a keyframe go to one second or in or or hold on shift and page down three times and change this to 100 and right now you have this animation but the problem here is i want this the last part of the text to come first and the other parts of the text to come later so to do that we're gonna change this shape from ramp up to ramp down and if you see now you're just having the opposite so let's go and change this offset from a hundred to a negative hundred. All right. So if you play it back, you have this animation. So right now you have a very boring text animation to spice that up. Go down here and select this e slow and set these values to 100. And if you play it back, so you have a little bit of dynamic movement in the text animation. 
and you can play with this based on characters, words, or lines. You can choose whatever you like according to your needs. All right. Right now we have created the animate in, and we have to create. We have to finish this animation by creating the animate out. So it's very easy to do. Collapse everything, and I'll duplicate this. Control D to duplicate and rename this out. All right, so if you collapse this animate out, let's go and first focus on the keyframes here. So select these keyframes, move it away. Just ignore the screen right now. It's not gonna work right away. So let's just focus on this timeline. All right, I just move these keyframes away. You have a text animation in at one second, and it will hold for a while, and it will go from let's say two second. To three seconds like this. All right, it will come, stay for a while, and go out. All right, so that's the keyframe, and we're gonna change this position from a negative to just these values. So it's not gonna work now yet. Let's go inside this advance and let's change this ramp down to ramp up. And if you play it back, you have that. All right, that's very simple, very straightforward. I think it's very clear. So let's go a little bit further and add some more effects here. So go and select this animate in. Go to add and property, and we're gonna add an opacity, which is zero, and it will come from zero to a hundred. All right. And let's add another property, which is scale, and I'll scale it a negative 100. And if you play it back, it's scaling up the text. And I'm gonna add another effect, which is a blur here, and a blur amount of maybe 50, like that, or maybe even crank that up to 150. All right, you have that only inside the animate in. So I'm gonna copy the scale, opacity, and blur. Control C or Edit, Copy, and select this out and paste it. Control V to paste it. All right. So collapse this, and once I play it back, you have the same effect like the animate in. All right. Once you're done with this animation, you can save this animation as a preset, so that you don't have to create this text over and over again. All right. So to do that, select this in and out. Go to animation, save animation presets. Go to your version of After Effects inside presets. Go inside text, and I have a folder. And try to save this here. And you might have this error because your system won't allow you to save it inside the folder of After Effects. So let me try to save it in a different location. Let me go here, and let's override this for now. Close After Effects. Let me not save it. Right-click, run as administrator. Now you should be able to save the project as a text animation. To apply any text animation preset, select the text, go to animation, apply animation presets, and here is the preset which I save it in the F drive. Open, and I have the same text animation without needing to go and do the animation works. All right, so I'm I'm gonna. Save this animation now inside the After Effects folder. So save animation presets. Go to C and navigate to the folder of your After Effects inside presets, inside text, and you can create a folder. I have my own folder here, and let me just, for instance, touch. All right, save it. You have the animation. Go and check here in the animation presets text. Go to Motion Designer Text Animation. Here I have the Touch Text Animation preset. So let's test this out. Design and center it to the composition, and you know drag and drop it. So you have the same animation. I hope that clears out a little bit of confusion that you have been having this with After Effects text animation. And if you want to learn more After Effects, watch this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.